as the Super Bowl slowly creeps upon us, a lot of fans are getting excited. They're debating on what team they're going for. Some have already had their teams chosen. I'm sure there's a lot of money that's being placed as far as bets go when it comes to whatever team that, that they're cheering for. But what many people may not be aware of is that there's a person that currently plays on the Eagles right now. Of course, the Eagles are the top contender to win the Super Bowl. But there's a player on the team that has just been indicted on violation and kidnapping charges. I'm talking about this guy is unleashing his inner Ben Roethlisberger. And that person that I'm talking about is Josh Seals. He is the offensive lineman for the Eagles who are currently right now getting ready to prepare for the Super Bowl. And he's, as far as I know, still on the team. And I said, as far as I know, because I'm not entirely sure if he's still on the team or not, but the fact that he got indicted, he needs to be removed from the team if he has not been already. And of course, lamestream media is not ta really talking about this at all. I only heard about it like a couple days ago. And the article that I'm reading from got posted on February 1st, and I'm recording this on February 4th. Talking three whole days. So this is still like a fresh story, but it's not being pumped out there by the media. And then you don't hear the usual suspects such as Stephen Abraham Smith or Fat Lock or Shaq or Charles Barkley or all the like or the rest of them who have an issue with black men for whatever reason they have an issue with black men at the time talking about this when this should be a major story. Eagles offensive lineman Josh Seals was indicted by a Gern a Guernsey County County Common Pleas Grand Court jury. Let me re let me read that again. He was indicted by a Guernsey County Common Pleas Court Grand Jury on one count of violation and one count of kidnapping, both first degree felonies, according to a release posted on the Ohio Attorney General's website. Per the release, Sills engaged in sexual activity that was not consensual and held a victim against her will in December 2019. The alleged crime was immediately reported, according to the release, and the Guernsey County Sheriff's Office conducted a detailed investigation. The case was presented to the grand jury and is being prosecuted by the special prosecution section of the Attorney General's Office. Now, here's the thing. Kudos to the victim who immediately said something. And they didn't, and this is not something that just popped up. So this happened back in 2019 and they are just now getting him on this, which means this man has been playing. I don't know how long he's been with the Eagles. I don't know when he got picked up by them, but let's hypothetically say he's been with them since 2019 or around that time. That means this man has been playing on the team for a couple of seasons and they knew that this guy had some issues and they didn't do anything until now. Am I surprised? No, I am not. A summons was issued for Sills, age 25, to appear in Guernsey County Common Pleas Court at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on February 16th, which, of course, is a couple days after the Super Bowl, as that is on the 12th. Yeah, that's on the 12th. The NFL said on Wednesday that Seals has been placed on a commissioner's exempt list and is not permitted to participate in practices or games or travel with the Eagles while on the list. The legal the league also said that the matter will be reviewed under the NFL's personal conduct policy. The Eagles said in a statement that they are aware of the legal matter involving Josh Seals. We have been in communication with the league office and are in process of gathering more information. We have no further comment at this time. The Eagles are playing against the Kansas City Chiefs on February 12th in the Super Bowl in Glendale, Arizona. According to the police report obtained by ESPN, an officer was dispatched to the Southeastern Ohio Regional Medical Center Emergency Room in Cambridge, Ohio on December 5th, 2019 to take a report of a sexual assault. According to the woman's account, a man dropped her and her cousin off at her cousin's place where she was staying. After her cousin got out of the vehicle, the male grabbed her by her arm and pulled her back into the truck. The male grabbed her by her ponytail and tried to kiss her. The report said, and she repeatedly told him to stop. But he continued. Once her friend was inside the home, the account continues. The man tried to take off her pants and kept touching me down there. She also alleged the man forced her to have oral sex with him. She identified the man as Sills, whom she said she had gone to high school with and had known for seven or eight years. 
The officer took photos of the woman's face and neck, and she stated she had been grabbed several times by the neck. The deputy also was also informed that hospital staff were doing a CT scan to check for strangulation injuries. A nurse informed the deputy that she had discovered bruising in the back of the woman's throat, as well as on her inner lip. The nurse also noted that there was bruising to her right ear, and the woman also showed the officer bruising on the back of her left knee. Sills, a native of Sarasville, Ohio, was signed by the Eagles as an undrafted free agent in April. He attended West Virginia from 2016 to 2019, then transferred to Oklahoma State in 2020. So he just got to Philly in 2022. Stills appeared in one game for the Eagles this season in October against the Arizona Cardinals. So this man literally is not even really that active, but that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is, is that he did this. They have proof that he did, and they just kind of, brushed it under the rug again am i surprised no i am not well i think it's safe to say to know that this guy only played in one game as a member of the eagles roster and he didn't play at all anytime before then or anytime after that just lets you know that he wasn't gonna he, he's just there he's just there he shouldn't be there but he's just there again amazing they what do I tell y'all operation protect the white boy in full effect and his situation is no different. Again, while I'm reading this from ESPN, I haven't really seen the usual suspects. Like I mentioned earlier, say anything about this. And honestly, I don't expect them to because he doesn't fit the mold. Now we know if it was any of these black, NFL players and it could have been anyone it doesn't matter what their position is it doesn't even matter if they are a franchise player or not they would have had their name and face all up through all up and through the summer jam screen and everything that they were accused of allegedly doing meanwhile y'all just got a rundown right here and like I said kudos to the victim for saying something then so they knew then and they were basically tiptoeing around it and they could have easily got him because the guy pretty much was right for the picking as far as getting him. It's not like he was untouchable. They made it seem like this guy was invincible. But they could have easily got him, but they just kind of let it slide. But I'm not, again, I'm not shocked nor surprised by that either. I bet you they were going to try their best to keep this from coming out. And they probably wished that it could have stayed buried or hidden.